Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to make a superpower smoothie. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos, which I'm now putting out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday morning. And I do appreciate that. All right, so this is a smoothie I've been making lately, so I wanted to show it to everyone. It's super nutritious, it's filling, it's a great smoothie, and I'm, you obviously, if you don't have all these ingredients, you can just use what you have, but this is how I've been making it. And I call it the superpower smoothie. All right, so I'm starting out with five bananas, and some of these are fresh and some are frozen. So just depending on what I have on, on hand, will depending on that will depend on whether or not they're frozen. I always have extra ripe bananas that I keep in the freezer, so if I ever run out of fresh ripe bananas, I can go to my frozen ones as well. So I'm gonna start out with those five bananas, and I'm gonna put in some water, just to kind of get those going. Push these down a little bit. to add in some frozen blueberries. This is about a cup of frozen blueberries. Sometimes I use mixed berries, sometimes it's blueberries, just depending on what I got. And let's get that going. Okay, now I have a big bowl of Power Greens, I got these from Costco. I think they're called Power Greens. It's like kale, baby spinach, baby kale, baby chard. So sometimes I use this, sometimes I use just spinach, sometimes I use kale, depending on what I got on hand. Good to get in those greens though, and this is a great way to do it. So let me get those going. smoothie to have post-workout. Alright, now I'm going to add a couple more things here. So I got some cocoa powder. I'm going to add a big heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder. I got some daily green boost. This is super nutritious. It's just um, organic barley grass juice powder. So I recommend this stuff. I'm gonna put in a couple tablespoons of this. And then I'm gonna add in some soaked chia seeds. Great for digestion. I love the soaked chia seeds. So I use those in most of my smoothies. I'm putting in a good three tablespoons there. liter and a half. So that's going to take a while to eat. Keep you nice and full. Right there. Let me try it out. Mm. That's a good one. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. Try it out. Tell me what you think and we'll see you soon on the next video. Bye.